What do you What do you guys think? Should we get going? Yeah. yeah. Anybody want to pray us in? No. Lindsay, you want to pray us in? No, no thanks. No thanks. Steve, no. Absolutely not. Sure. Okay, Steve's going to pray us in. Let me take this mask off here. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. Dear Lord, bless this time that we have with all of our friends and uh, being able to use our technology to Zoom and to stay with our friends. Um, and all excited for Thursday. Um, just pray for everybody who's traveling or going to school or um, anything that's important, just be with them through their whole time. And uh, uh, we thank you, Jesus, that you are here to take care of all of us. If we didn't have you, we probably wouldn't have anything, but we do. And we all have each other. And we thank you and we praise you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, Steve, where's Chris? Yeah. Um, he's upstairs sitting with my little nephew watching TV with him or something. Well, tell him I'm sure Jesus would understand. <laughs> he, we, well, yeah, he should be down here. I'm kidding. Tell him I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Oh, yeah, no problem. I'm Sorry. So, so here, Dee, you weren't here last week. Well, I'll, no. tell, I'll tell you a little bit about that. So here's our upcoming stuff. The prom is Thursday, Friday, and yeah. Saturday. Somebody oh, said yeah. to me, do you have to get dressed up? And I said, no, you do not. You but do you not. have to be dressed. Yeah, we prefer <laughs> you to be dressed. Yeah, <laughs> all kind of. But I did, hear, that. I did hear there's one guy who's going to wear a tuxedo. And I told his mom, I said, that's pretty cool. I'm not even sure if I'm going to take a shower that day. No. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's too much information. Maybe that's too much. Okay. Here's, I think it's there willing to take a shower. Here's what we got coming up. Listen, listen up. Sarah, Sarah listen up. So Sunday's our Bible lesson at 1 o'clock. Next Tuesday's another uh, study. This is all after the prom this week. And then we have a parent thing uh, next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. And then the Friday after that, we're having a trivia night that is on everything Star Wars, Ooh. Disney, oh, Marvel, cool. or Pixar. So wow. those are going to be the categories of our trivia night. Cool. That'd Any cool. questions on that'd be cool, that stuff? Greg? It should be good. Yeah, that, that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. so it's a, it's a trivia night. We're going to have some fun. I know and, my Disney stuff. So. so then you might want to come to this. We'll see how much you know your Disney stuff. We'll, see. we'll, we'll let you know if you know your Disney stuff. So, D, I was about to tell you, and John Carver will tell you, and, and the people who were here last week, last week was a tough week. Man. Oh, was it? Oh, man. It was Matthew 24. It was tough. But I think everybody passed. It was one of our tough ones. I was, um, I was actually thinking, and, and D and John, I'll have to send you, next, next week is Matthew 26. It's about 18 minutes long of a video. We might have to split it in three. Yeah. Thank you, Dylan. I love you, buddy. It's a big one. Hey, life later. All right, Zeke is coming on. Hey. Oh, you love one. Oh, hey, say. D? He's not my love one. Okay, Aww. you guys. Hey. We love D. You guys, should should we mute everybody for this video, or are you going to... No. You think we should? I'm eating my dinner. No. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna I mean, have to matter. we're gonna have to be quiet so we could hear. Yeah. So everybody could hear. I hear you. Yep. Um, let me do this. Let me know if you could see it. I can see it. You I can, can see, see that it. dude with the beard. I can see Who is it. that? Moses? Oh, no, it is not. No. So this it's Jabba, it's just Sharf and Camp. Tonight, tonight is um <laughs> Matthew 25. Let's right. get to the end of 24 a little bit, but not too much. Um, 
because it, it was pretty heavy last week. It was, yeah. it was some serious stuff. We were not joking around. <laughs> no. And, but they made it, everybody made it through. So here's the end yeah. of Matthew 24. Oh, it's a commercial. Do you want the end of Oh, no. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the before they famous stuff, yeah. the art of your band right against there. the group. Okay. I always look for that as soon as I can find it. No one would survive. But for the sake of this act, those days will be shortened. At that time, if anyone says to you, Look here at the and there he is. Do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophet will appear and perform great signs and miracles to deceive even the elect if that were possible. See, I have told you ahead of time. So if anyone tells you there he is out in the desert, do not go out, or here he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west. That's so not it. That's just the yeah. Yeah. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be dark and the, the, sky, and the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky, and all the nations of the earth will mourn. They will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. I tell you the truth. This generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. No one knows about that day or hour, not even the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. Two men will be in the field. Mm. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you also must be ready. If the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of the servants? In what happened? We lost the thing. It will be good for that servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. I tell you the truth. He will put him in charge of all his possessions. But suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, My master is staying away a long time. And he then begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with drunkards. The master of that servant will come on a day. Yeah. I can't see the video. Not aware of. He will cut him to pieces. And everybody else see the video? Sign him a place with uh, no. weeping. Yeah. Yeah. No. I can hear not see the video either. I can see it from my I can see it. 
Okay. I can see it. Yeah, I can hear it. Time. Yep. Okay. I can hear it too. Okay. I can hear it. Five of them yeah. were foolish, and five were wise. The foolish ones took oh. lamps, but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, oh. took oil in jars along with their lamps. Bridegroom was a long time in coming. I don't see the, the video. At midnight, the cry rang out. Here's the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up. And don't worry about it. The foolish one said to the wise, give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied. There may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. <laughs> Later, the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth. I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you trusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. <coughs> the man with the two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received the one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown, and gathered where I have not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the banker, so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who has the ten talents. For everyone who has will be given more. <laughs> and he will have an abundance. Whoever does not have even what he has will be taken from him. Oh, that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where they'll be weeping and watching. When the Son of Man comes in his <laughs> <time>. <laughs> Amen.
He will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. All the nations will be gathered before him. And he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance. I think we prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. And the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in? Or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did, for one of the least of these brothers of mine. You did for me. <laughs> then, uh, say to those on his left, <laughs> you are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. <sighs> for I was hungry and gave me nothing to eat. And I was thirsty and gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison. And you did not look after me. They also will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, I tell you the truth. Whatever you did not do, for one of the least of these. You did not do for me. Then they will go away to eternal punishment. But the righteous to eternal life. That is it. That's intense yeah. stuff. Yeah. This, this, you know what? We're not in anymore. We're not in a comedy like you know where right. you're, you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're doing the fish and the loaves and you're walking on the water and uh, you're turning over tables. This is serious stuff. Hey, yeah. Sarah, before we get to the yeah. questions, I forgot to bring one thing up. Um, when uh, two four hangout comes back February twenty eighth with a new. <laughs> the series is called God's Answers to Life's Difficult Questions, and it's by Rick Warren, so that's 2-4 yes. Hangout on Sunday, February 28th. All right. But, so Dee is going to share. We, we, yeah, raise finally. Your, raise your hand if you miss Dee. I do. I, I miss her. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm Steve, I miss you, D. Well, thank you, Steve. Thanks, Christine. And we love you very much. And we're Hi, gonna Greg. Be... Oh, okay. Hey, who is that? It's me. It's Zeke. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Oh. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, hey, it's, it's Ezekiel. Ezekiel, forgetting that we actually have like a. a, a I love the whole bean, really. Good. 
All right. Well, we're going to hear from B leading us uh, on okay. a tough study, but a serious one, but a good one. Really? Okay. I'll just tell them where I've been. My, my daughter fell on New Year's Eve and fractured her hip and her ankle, and she had to have surgery. So I've been busy helping uh, my daughter and her family, but uh, her hip is healed, good, good news, and her foot, she's gonna, I hope, get a walking boot on the 18th. So I yeah. missed all of you. I've just been yeah. so busy that uh, I took a little uh, time off. But yeah. I wanted to start the first question with, uh, it says, while Jesus was talking about the kingdom of heaven, he told a parable. Does anybody know what a parable is? No. I know. Mm -hmm. a okay. Of God. It's a what? It is See? a story of God. Story of God. Okay. Telling and us, what? like, what, what happened. Okay, and why did Jesus tell these stories? Because he is a man, because he gave himself for him to say those things to us okay. because we came out from Egypt from slavery. Okay, now in the beginning, he's telling this story and his disciples are listening to him and but he doesn't come right out and say, he tells things in a story to make them understand and mm -hmm. a parable has a story with a meaning. So he talks here, and I'll, I'll go to the question about the 10 women. <laughs> Says there are 10 women who took lamps to meet their bridegroom. Some did not have enough oil for their lamps and went out to buy some more oil and missed out on the wedding. Jesus said that no one will know the day or the hour of his return. Is this true or false? True. Well, True. Uh, true. Yeah. True. True. Okay. Now it goes back to chapter 24 when he's talking about when he's going to come. So he's telling people that no one knows the day or the hour. So we'll go to the big question. And it says, how can we prepare for Jesus's return when we don't know when it is? What are we supposed to do? I don't uh, know. Be, I don't know. Be faithful. Okay, faithful. who said be faithful? Steve. Who that, Steve? Yeah. Okay. I don't. Yeah. I'm not sure, but no, that's that's good. That's I'm exactly. Thinking, I'm thinking that's what he would want you to think when he comes back. He wants you to not be thinking about McDonald's and Happy Meals. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you saying we can never think about Happy Meals? Do I believe you know that? <laughs> yeah, you make me hungry. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. No, but no, 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 no. My point was, good being faithful is what he would want. So okay, faithful in what, Steve? Um, faithful in how you. Um, let's see, faithful, faithful, faithful. Just believing in Jesus, believing in yes. him, being faithful, trying to be um, um, be faithful. Just being, be you, be be for the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, be positive, um, and and do good unto others. Good, faithful. Um, I, I can't figure out the word, but being good to yourself, being faithful to yourself, and then being good to others and being faithful yeah. to the people that are around you. Yeah. Okay. And faithful mm -hmm. to him. Yes. Okay. To, to Jesus. Mm -hmm. and we'll, get, we'll get to doing good. It, it's part of it later in the questions because Jesus will talk about that of doing for others. Mm -hmm. He said, well... When did we do that? And he said, when we did it right. for the least of people. Yeah. So we'll you, get that in the next question. Do you guys, I have a with you guys. Do you guys I think, think... Oh, go ahead, Z. Okay. I think Jesus don't order McDonald's anymore. 
Get no. the <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't order McDonald's. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Um, I Jesus don't think, uh, does not order. He gives us food to believe in him because, like, people say, like, McDonald's. all people say, like, oh, let him eat more McDonald's. Anyway. Oh, let him do drink some pop. Okay. But he does he do this because no, okay. he drinks the wine. And put them, they put okay. Them on. So you if, won. <laughs> if you guys don't learn anything else tonight, you think about the Happy Meals. Jesus does not order McDonald's anymore. Yeah. Let me no. ask you this, D and everybody: Are do sure. you think? Do you think okay. it's a good thing that we don't know when he's going to come back, or do you think, or would you want to no. know? No, yeah. I think no. I think. Um, I'm trying to think here. I think I would rather I would rather not know. Yeah, and just, me too. And just um, live your life to the fullest until he comes back to Earth, because we will not know anything. Yeah. Nothing. We won't, We don't know when the moon's going to change to blood. We're not going to know any of that. So, yeah. Yeah. And, we, and I know. Hey, that's such a good idea. We want to be faithful. Let's just. Yeah. Say, Let's say we knew he was coming back next okay. next January first. You know okay. what a lot of, you know what a lot of people would do? Hmm. They they would party and go crazy until December thirty first, and then they would <laughs> pray and get right with God, right? Probably so. We want to be right with God all the time, don't we? Y yes. Because he could come back at any time, right? That's the thing. But if we knew it, I, I think I think we would take advantage of that if we knew it sometimes. I sometimes. Well, we need to behave ourselves because he could give us a time out. But also, yeah. uh, on the other I hand, I think so. I got a little kidding, Mosty. So on the other hand, if if we knew he was coming Friday, maybe we could tell everybody between mm -hmm. all of our friends about him between now and Friday too. So. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Yeah, um, John Carver. Yeah, yeah hey. you know, I want to parlay off uh, Steve. What, what do you think that word Steve said to be faithful? So our second question on that big uh, question sheet mm -hmm. says, "What what does that word mean? Faithful? If you oh, said you had a faithful friend, what time. what would that mean to you?" Oh, I know. Okay. I know. Um, it means like being nice to each other. Okay. Like mm -hmm. being nice or to each believing, other. Or believing in something. Oh, hang on yeah. with the believers. There you go. Oh. And okay. that's what I mean. I, I saw a movie with my dad with like the guy named Faithful and the mm -hmm. Pop Wedge. Yep. He told like, they tell yeah. the story about John Bunyan, what he have done. Right and and they yeah, he just right. faithful dude the, the dude named faithful followed him and did what is right for himself and he got he got killed he got, yeah. he killed the the big big killing him and yep. put him to a stake and let let him know like what God has done to us like you know what's going on with our life because you know it's just in the movie of of John Bunyan. Okay, who yeah. who is always faithful to us? Jesus, Jesus, God. Jesus, yeah. Jesus. God. and it doesn't matter how bad the weather is because He's always with you. That's right, right? Well, you know, and you know what, Steve? It doesn't matter how bad we are. He's right. always yeah. with us, with right? you. Yeah, isn't that good yep. to know? Because that you, is, you can't say that about everybody, can you? No, no, I don't think so. so okay, let. Let's move on. We'll go to the next question. It says in another parable, and remember, these are stories Jesus is using parables to illustrate, uh, you know, a spiritual truth. That's what he uh, did. It He made it in people's language so they kind of understand. It says Jesus told about a man who gave different amounts of talents, talents or money, to three different servants. The first two servants later returned the talents to the man along with more talents. The man then called the servants A, big and strong, B, good and faithful, C, small and weak, D, 
hungry and tired. I would what say B. I think I say B. 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 Good, Good and safe. safe. Good. Yeah, okay. I'll go B, final answer. B. Okay, so what if it's, say it's not money, say it's mm-hmm. our talents that we have here, what does Jesus expect us to do with the talent he's given us as a person? Go Not necessarily out, money. Go out, just go out and use what he gave you. Yes. Use out, what he gave you. Yeah. Um, and, you know, let um, Jesus shine down on you for what you're doing. Like me, we didn't have a homeless shelter this year. Oh, okay. But I went out and I went to McDonald's and I started taking cheeseburgers and feeding people, you know, because they need to eat. Yeah. yeah. So it's a perfect thing for tonight, you know. And that's the actual, let me tell you something real quick. That's the actual prayer that they had in the video that we would say at the homeless shelter. So oh. I know that very well. Yeah. Good. Good for you, Steve. That's yeah. uh you're living what Jesus is expecting you to do. Yeah. You're using your talent, you know, uh, for the kingdom, uh, yep. for him. Trying to. Okay. Hey, Greg, I don't want to be rude, but I want to say something really quick. Okay. Sure. Okay. I know it's my birthday coming up, but I'm going to be 25. I'm going to be graduating soon at my school. Nice. I want to start the county. Oh, there you go. Okay. Nice. Good I'm going to be done. And go to college, get myself a, a, a new wife for myself, and get married. Oh, and yeah. have oh. All right. Okay. okay. I don't think you got to figure it out. Katie okay. said, moving right. on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they do fire. Okay. All right. So Steve kind of answered that question. Is how, how can we use the gifts that Jesus has given? He's helping others. What else could we do? Uh, what other talents that you might have? What could you do for others? I think be kind. Yeah. Okay. Kind words is uh, important, especially now. People yeah. are not kind no. on uh, Twitter no. and Instagram and uh, no. social media. I'm tired of it. No. Yeah. yeah. How about you can, how about you can pray? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, very much. We have a lot yeah. of that. Get, yeah, we need a lot of prayer. Um, Anything well, else? Uh, um, um, practical things well, you could do? You could tell somebody about Jesus if they yes. want to hear about him. Then they might say, well, who is he? And I'd say, to the best of my ability, this is who he is. Right. This is what happened with him. Really good. Oh, no. Craig. So that's the way you want to go that route. Okay. Jesus route. All right. Mm. What did uh, we'll go back to the questions? What did yeah. the third servant do with his talent? Did he a sell it on eBay? <laughs> no. Gave it away. See. Well, here we go. Bought a cheeseburger. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm about that. I oh, like to pay. Hit it, hit it in the ground. What did the third servant do with his that talent? D, D, yeah. D final that answer. Is D. D, D, final, final answer. answer. Okay. D, Greg. So, so Jesus is telling us, don't put your talents and hide them. Share your right. talents with others. Share oh, your hey, gifts. Don't put your everybody. talents in a cheeseburger. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Sure. I'm not going to do that. I put my, my, my money in the ground. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope not, Zeke. <laughs> Good luck. Well, maybe I go say on eBay for myself. I, although there was a good story. you got to hear this story. It involves uh, uh, food. There's this football player that went, and the guy didn't know who he was, so he treated him to a meal. And so he was a famous uh, NFL pro football player, and he was so touched, he went back to the restaurant, and he paid it forward and treated everybody to a meal. It just oh, happened gosh. Wow. a week nice. ago. I think it was yeah. in Tom Brady. Nice. That was really no, cool. it wasn't Tom Brady. It was... Uh, <laughs> 
somebody from oh, the shoot. Indianapolis Colts. I oh. forget the guy's oh, name. The, Col- the Cowboys. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, so you good know, deal. Yeah. yeah. You bought the guy a meal, and then uh, he turned around and bought everybody a meal. Hmm. Anyway, let's let's go on. It said Jesus Ooh, bought- a meal too. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Jesus talks about the final judgment where people will be divided like sheep and goats. He said that people will be judged on how they treated who? A, the strongest people. B, church folk. C, the least of my brothers. D, movie stars. I would say C. C. I'm going to say... Anybody else? C is C is the right answer. Least of my C, C, C final way. answer. Okay, C. For five thousand, I'm going to say C final answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the big question is: It says, <laughs> "What are what are some ways we can show love to the least of these? What ways?" Now, Steve did his. Anybody uh, else? Um, be wow. kind. Be right. kind. Who said that? Lydia. Lydia. Nice. Lydia. Good one. How about you, Christine? Anything? Um, Just think. You get it, Christina. Good job. Um, I don't know. To you. Well, you know, you guys, we do it all the time at church. You know how we do the Christmas shoe boxes? Yeah. That, yes. That's way. Yeah. You know, yeah. some of us did the the Christmas stockings this year. Yeah. Um, that's that's loving the least of these. You know, in, in that story, Jesus is talking. He's saying, "I was I was hungry, and you right. said, gave so me to hungry eat. Hungry people. I was thirsty, and you gave me something. Gave me to drink." To, to drink. Yep, I was in jail and you visited me. Came and I, visited me. I didn't have clothes and you gave me clothes. So those clothes. Are all so ways food. Yeah. that we could by feeding and giving water and visiting and um yep. and providing clothes, those are all ways we can help, isn't it? Yes. It's a great way. And sometimes Absolutely. even uh remember at Christmas, uh you might have put a dollar in a Salvation Army uh, bucket yep. by the store, oh, or yeah. any yep. donated some of your clothing to uh, a charity. Or recently, yep. Woodside did uh, hygiene kits mm-hmm. for homeless people. Mm-hmm. So maybe your family uh, donated some <sighs> items there. And these are all yeah. ways. And. Uh, I haven't seen Casey at Meyer to say hi to her. You know, I haven't been there the day she's been there. So, you know, days where it's I could. Little cup hats going out with that store. I'm being a little upset. Okay. Mm. But I haven't seen you to give you a smile or say hi to you. So, this another small way they that we can out. share love with one another. Right. Okay. Let's, let's go on to the last thing here. Um, about the sheep and the goats. It says, Jesus talks, oh, we got that one. During this passage, last question, Jesus said that when you take care of the least of these or don't, you are doing or not doing it for him. Is this true or false? When we take true. care of the least. True. 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 Okay. True. And then the final, it says, what did Jesus mean by saying you're not doing these things? Uh, more doing chores. Chores. What? <laughs> Where the heck did you get that? <laughs> but don't shop What? Well. <laughs> what? What was he saying to his disciples? And he's saying, "Well, if you do these things, you're doing them unto me." Yeah. yeah. So. Yes. Well, don't do saying? it for me. Do it for yourself. Well, I can do, do that. Do we do I things for ourselves or do we do them for God? I we do, do it for God. God. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's what he's saying. When we do these things, we're doing, when we do it for other people, we're doing it for him because we represent Jesus here on earth. Okay. So some people 
The only way they'll get to know Jesus is by looking at us and what we do. So, yeah. And, anything else, Greg, on that? Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, and he trusts us. He gives us those talents. This was right after he said about giving talent. He gave us each something to do. He gives us stuff to do when he wants us to love others. Uh, like he loved others when he was here. Right? So these are people that he loves. He doesn't, you know, when there's somebody who's homeless, he doesn't love those people any more or any less than he loves us, right? Correct. So, but those people don't always feel loved, do they? So no. if we could love them because Jesus loved us first, then we're really showing Jesus to them, aren't we? And yeah. Yeah. I remember my wife, she, years ago, she said she was driving by somebody who was hitchhiking. Nobody hitchhikes anymore. But she said she almost turned around because she wondered if that was like, like Jesus yeah. telling her and showing her to, 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 to come after and help the least of these. So it's, it's having that kind of mindset that no matter what you do, and it might seem small to you guys. I love that Dee said about how even if you put a dollar in the Salvation Army thing, it's still you know, helpful. Well, the, mm -hmm. we we know the one parable about the the old yeah. lady who only gave uh, a widow's mite, they called it, and everybody else was given lots of money. But her her reasoning mm -hmm. was pure, and it was the right reason to do it. Yeah. So. Guess what they're doing for homeless people? I saw this on the news. They're saving. Yeah. Frito-Lay bags and making blankets because the lining has aluminum mm. and it becomes like a space blanket. Is they showed right? it on the news and there's a group. Yeah, just uh, putting Frito-Lay uh, bags together for blankets oh. for homeless. I have not heard that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's an organization and they press them out, you know, the foil to make like a foil bank, like a space blanket. And they're giving them out to the homeless people so that they don't, they can be warm. I thought, what a great idea. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Well, okay. I'll tell you what we used to do. Greg, can you hear me? Yep. So when my mom was alive, we would drive around and we would, we'd put blankets in the trunk yeah. and pillows in the back seat, and we would go out and we would drive around and find them and make sure that they have something. That's awesome. That's so, awesome. Yeah. But that's something we did together. I'll never, I'll never forget doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that it feels is, good. You know, Stephen, that is doing it to the least of these, the, the least yes. of my brothers. And you know what? If we're honest, we have a lot of people who've done nice things for us too, haven't we? Yes, um, I agree with you. And and we should pass that on whenever we get a chance. Pass on Zeke's the blessing. Yes. Yeah. Well, God gave me Zeke as a good friend, so oh, you, I'm doing pretty you. good there. All right, well, let's, let's hear it for Dee. Buddy. Let's hear it for Dee, who ooh, ooh. Oh, thanks. came back, and that wasn't an easy one either. No. Hey, John, do you want to do prayer requests, or you want me to? You got a pen? Yep, I do. Okay, I'll go around. I'll get everybody, you guys. Prayer time. Um, I'm going to go oh, left. Oh, okay, good to get everybody. Right. Sarah Miller, let's start with you, Sarah Miller. Sarah Miller, any friend request? I am, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> thank you, boy. How about, how um, about you miss your dog? Your dog died last yeah. week. What? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. He died last week. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, he died last Tuesday. Mm. It was not a good thing. Really? You have us. You have yeah. us. Yeah. We love you. We love you, Sarah. Dee, can we still be praying for your daughter? Yes, that she gets a walking boot on the 18th. It would help. She's in a wheelchair, and that gets hard taking her in and out of the house. So yeah. that's, that would that's, help. Uh, next week, right? Yeah, yeah the 18th. Good. Good. It's going to happen. Yeah, thanks, Dee. What about Sarah Ruffner? 
for this new pill that's not helping me right now. It's really giving me a headache, and I'm still so, trying it out. For your mm -hmm. medication? The prescription oh. that I've taken is not helping me right now. Okay. okay. How about Steve Jones? Um, I'm going to say staying faithful. Um, not feeling depressed with the stuff that's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Trying to think about my friends, and you're right here. We're gonna have a good time this week. That's all I oh, want to do. Baby, wait till you see it. <laughs> that's I'll the thing you. too. I'll show you one. Here's one of the bingo prizes. Here's one of the bingo prizes. How cool! Oh man, you oh. <laughs> Oh, are we going to get to Temper Kids as soon as we're done with this chapter like we did, always do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, oh, you can just mail it. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can mail it. Okay, Chris. Um, also, oh. real quick, uh -huh. so so the staying faithful, um, trying not to feel down or depressed, and mm -hmm. finance, fi finances. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about Christine? Um, I don't have anything. I, I'm sorry. No, you, you, I don't, you don't have to ever anything. be sorry. Don't ever worry about being yeah. sorry if you don't. Okay. That's I'm, okay. I'm not sorry. Good. So <laughs> for, um, for uh, Lindsay, I mean, hey. Casey. I mean, Casey. <laughs> Casey. I'm having. Some problem with the cutbacks on the scheduling. On the scheduling at work? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's going on for a week until when I'm about to be in. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're, okay. they're working out a work schedule for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What about it's, Lydia? It's very oh, hot. Oh, I'm really good. Okay. <laughs> uh, good, Anthony, any prayer requests for you, buddy? Um, no, I'm good, but thanks anyways. How about, how about Joseph? Uh, to make uh, things better. Hey, Joe. Huh? To, make, to make things what, jo Joseph? To make things better in the, <laughs> with the corona. Yeah, get the rona out of here. <laughs> yeah, get we'll the rona that. out of here. Oh, how about you, Dano? Oh, Danny, any prayer I, requests? I just, wanted, I just wanted to thank you for uh, the prom night. Prom night coming up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Molly Marie, Molly, do you have any prayer requests? Honey? Yeah, right here. Okay. What do you got? Please pray. Um, I'm just like to pray for you. Um, this word of uh, Mrs. Ramenthal. Mrs. Ramenthal? Okay. Yeah. Mrs. Raventhal, yeah. Okay. I, I like how Molly always prays for other people. Yeah. You know yeah. That? That's nice. She cares. She's, that's one that's thing. Nice. That's one thing we yeah. can do for people. That's very good. Yeah. Molly. Pray. Zeke, sure. Zeke, what do you say? No. Here, oh, Zeke, God. I'm gonna oh, challenge. Go. I'm gonna challenge Zeke to say a prayer request that does not include girlfriend. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. People taking a shot. I let Mary Albo. And see, those two are not my friends anymore. Okay. And I want to play for something else. What? For Donald Trump. Then we take the office back. All right. like, so like, like his, he can't because well, his office left. Office left. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, all right, Tim. Okay. Tim, we're gonna pray for Tim's group home. Oh, it's good. And for is that everybody? No, Lindsay. That's right. Uh, here we go again. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay, have you got got anything? No, no, no. Oh, yes. Oh, no. 
I want to first oh. get my hand fixed you and can. my boyfriend. If my boyfriend. Oh my goodness. Tells you and, have what, uh, Lindsay? I'm looking at it. <laughs> and he's been struggling. Okay. A lot. Yeah. He's been in and out of the hospital. Okay. Mm. And your new program, Lindsay. And and for my new program, because I'll yeah. be starting soon. Yeah. Oh, cool. The new program. I'll be starting my new program. Awesome. Congratulations, Lindsay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. What what's what's the name of it again, Lindsay? Life Enrichment Academy. Nice. Woo. Good. Woo. It, well. it, it used to be called CSDD. They don't call it CSDD oh, no yeah. more. Okay, so it's not CSDD. Oh, okay, good. Life Enrichment Academy. Good. And it's oh. awesome. I got to see the inside of it. Nice. All right, so Excuse Mr. Me. Carver. Excuse yes? me. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yes, um, Marty, or Marty's sister, Heather, signed us up for Thursday. Yeah. So how, when I go on my tablet, how easy will it be for me to get on there? Just, I mean, as far as the Zoom thing, because I'm always getting lost. Just, I'm going to need... I emailed the Zoom links out, so it's just like you got on tonight, Steve. You're just hitting the button, and we don't even have a password. You just hit the oh, button, you'll be right it there. Did. Just use use the one. And yeah. Hit that well, there's button. there's yeah there's one for everything that you signed up for. So if you signed up for two things, you got two Zoom links. Okay. Does that yeah, make sense? Okay. Right. The bus and the uh, eight thirty. Yeah. It's 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 fun. Um, uh, our closing yeah. program is going to be off the uh -oh. what what's better off the chain or off the hook? Off, off the, the hook. <laughs> Oh, the hook off is the better. Hook. Yes. Our Our closing hook. program is going to be off the hook. Arr, That's all. There he goes. Or off the chain. Or off the chain. All right. Or off the chain. Right. Goes there. Me Mr. Carver is going to pray <laughs> us out, you guys, okay. for tonight. Good study. Really good study. Yeah, you guys did a fantastic job. Thank you, John. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, John. Yeah. All right, let's bow our heads. Bow on the head. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for this evening where we all get together and study your word. Thank you for <laughs> Dee leading us and teaching this uh, course and Greg putting it on. And we do uh, lift up uh, everyone who's going to come to the prom. Pray that they have a fantastic time. And they learn more about you and want to learn more about you. And we just lift up uh, Sarah Miller with her dog passing last week. We know it's a sad time, but we do know that uh, you're comforting her. And just lift up her and all of her friends and her family. Let us all come alongside her, too. And uh, Dee, we do lift up her daughter that uh, she can get out of the uh, wheelchair so she can get around a little better with a walking boot. We do pray that uh, happens uh, real soon. Uh, watch over uh, Sarah Ruffner with her medication. We pray that uh, that all gets sorted out uh, by, her, uh, by her doctors. We do lift up with Steve Jones, all of his friends, and for him to stay positive, and for his finances. And uh, we do lift up Lindsay for her hand, her boyfriend's health, and her uh, new program she's going to be uh, uh, moving into. And of course, Casey, with uh, her work schedule, we pray that that uh, gets sorted out as well and that uh, she can return to work and uh, enjoy that. And we do uh, lift up uh, Joseph's prayer at uh, all this coronavirus uh, passes and that we're able to return <coughs> to normal life and uh, return to church, and return to school, and work, and uh, just uh, not have to uh, put up with this uh, uh, stay at home, and uh, pandemic, and people getting sick. We do lift up uh, just everyone who's uh, ever gotten sick, and we pray that they're recovering, and we do thank you that uh, 
uh, our friends and our family are, are staying safe. And uh, lift up uh, Danny too with uh, prom night because that's uh, many nights and it's going to be awesome. Yeah, we uh, look forward to that. We uh, lift up Molly's uh, prayer request for uh, Mrs. Ramaphore and uh, whatever she's going through, we pray that uh, she seeks your, seeks your will, seeks your heart. And uh, see, we do lift up uh, Donald Trump. And for Tim, we lift up his group. And just again, thank you for the study. Thank you for always being there. Thank you for giving us a heart to serve you and others. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 So remember, remember what we learned tonight, that Jesus Cheese does not burgers. order McDonald's anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, Greg. Good study, you guys. Very hey, good. Great. Study. Yeah. Bye. Great. Good to see you. Bye, guys. Bye, you guys are awesome.